What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. So, I gotta show you guys something. Terrifying, I know, 30% usage. So, uh, what I want to talk about today is, since you guys all really received well the Why is Meowskarada dominating BGC video, I thought I would make one about something that's definitely dominating the latter more so than Meowskarada, because Meowskarada is sort of like a tournament uh, breakout Pokemon right now. Uh, but Golden Go is omnipresent, so we're going to talk about that. Uh, we'll also talk about tournament results, uh, teams that it's like used on, how to beat it, why it's like just amazing in general. And yeah, it's going to be a golden go video. So if you guys enjoy this thing and play in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. That's for my comment question of the day. Are you a golden go hater or a golden go stand? There's like no in between right now. So yeah, let me know. Let's get into it. Okay, so what is Golden Go? Golden Go is officially the 1,000th Pokemon in the National Dex. Uh, this is probably the reason they made it so insanely broken. But that being said, there are ways to beat Golden Go, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, but first, let's talk about what it does, what it is, why it is the way it is, and why I'm kind of on the edge about hitting it. So, Golden Go has 87 HP, 60 attack, 95 defense, 133 special attack, 91 special defense, and 84 speed. It's a pure, or no, it's not a pure steel type. It's a ghost in steel type, which is definitely better. Uh, and it has the ability good as gold, which makes it immune to status moves. And when I say immune to status moves, I don't mean, oh, you can't stun spore it. You can't uh, sleep powder it. No, I mean like all of them. Like all of them. Like strength set fails uh life do and heal pulse fails like that's like the balancing thing you can't helping hand a golden go because it fails like that's like a weird thing if you try to target golden go with a move that doesn't deal damage outright it's not gonna work that's basically the gist of it haze stealth rock those aren't really golden go targets as much as they are like field targets so if you're targeting golden go and trying to afflict some kind of status on it without having a mold breaker pokemon it's not gonna work it's it's very strange uh but yeah it's it's a balancing thing too like it's, it's got this busted ability but it can't be helping handed and it can't be heal pulse that's very strange um so what this means is that pokemon that would normally deal with it like you know you can ev your amoongus uh your amoongus to uh live like a, a make it rain uh which we haven't even talked about make it rain yet uh and just like hit it with a spore not gonna work it doesn't need safety goggles or anything like that um it's also a steel type so if it like nasty plots on you clear smog is it gonna help you that's like a really weird thing but yeah golden go is known for running uh only a couple of sets but they're all very good uh, one of the more common ones is Choice Specs with, and I just got a new follower, let me turn off that. <laughs> uh, one of the uh, more common sets is Choice Specs uh, with Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and Thunderbolt, and usually Terra type Steel. So what this is going to allow you to do is run like a max speed, max special attack Golden Go, uh, and click you know, Terra type Steel, get adaptability on Make It Rain, and you have a 120 base power move that hits both opponents and lowers your special attack stat by one. But you're holding a choice specs, so despite the fact that you just got basically like two free KOs if the Pokemon were frail enough, um, you go down to only minus one, which with the choice specs is basically neutral, uh, and with the Terra type Steel is basically still like a choice specs or like a life orb or whatever. It's, it's a very strong move. Uh, and it is very difficult to deal with by conventional methods because it's not like you can like parting shot it or anything. Uh, your, your best ways of dealing with Golden Go are going to be like screens, snarl, ways that don't directly affect Golden Go itself from uh, dealing damage or ways that don't like directly target Golden Go, which is like very interesting. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's a very powerful Pokemon. It finds itself next to like a lot of very powerful tools as well. Uh, Murkrow is usually like the biggest enabler since Golden Go has that middling speed and it gets outsped by Garchomp. Tailwind is usually very good uh, and also good as gold doesn't block haze. So what you can actually do with a Golden Go is Tailwind, make it rain, go down to minus one haze and then make it rain at neutral again uh, because of the prankster uh, because the prankster haze and tailwind mouse hold is also quite good because you can follow me nasty plot and then just have mouse hold bust out like the the population bomb and just annihilate something and garchomp generally is just a good partner for it um while golden go like loses to fire types like uh arcanine armor rouge that sort of thing uh garchomp while not only benefiting from uh, Murkrow's Tailwind or Mousehold's like Follow Me, uh, is also going to be able to deal with the things that counter Golden Go. So that's all very nice for it. So 
Golden Go is super interesting. If if we like look at its tournament results and its like usage, Golden Go is at 30% usage. Uh, tournament wise, you see Golden Go on almost every team. It won the first major tournament of VGC 2023, being the Limitless team on uh, Fede Campo, uh, Fede Campo's team. Uh, he's you know got Golden Go, Murkrow, uh, Dragonite, Hydreigon. Uh, I believe it was Terra Grass, Sarah Ledge, and like a Focus Sash, Hypnosis, uh, Gengar. Uh, Golden Go is effectively like the face of Hyper Offense right now. I, I made another video talking about Murkrow, saying that Murkrow was the face of Hyper Offense, but there's sort of like, there's sort of like a, a dynamic duo here. Golden Go wouldn't be nearly as effective if, if it didn't have proper speed control. You can like notice this by looking at basically every Golden Go team. If we actually zoom in here to get a little bit of a better image, you can see that the next Golden Go team makes use of a Murkrow. The Golden Go team after that makes use of a Talonflame. Scroll down, Golden Go Murkrow, uh, Golden Go Murkrow. Murkrow is very popular. Golden Go, and I'm willing to bet this is Tailwind Hydreigon. Let's take a look. Uh, Hydreigon, no Tailwind. Okay, so this is like one of the few ones that doesn't have speed control, which is very interesting. But yeah, no, you can see my point. Most Golden Go require some form of speed control to be viable. That being said, if Golden Go can like survive a hit, uh, it's going to be able to smack something with a Make It Rain regardless. And it's not that difficult to live a hit. It's got 87 HP and like 90 in both defenses. It's about as bulky as an uh, as a Incineroar without like Intimidate. Uh, and also that pure typing is like super good. Um, but yeah, the choice specs Golden Go is obviously quite scary. But what you really have to respect on top of the choice specs Golden Go is the possibility of Terra type flying, which is also quite popular with uh, the combination of Nasty Plot. So Nasty Plot plus Terra type flying actually makes it so that if you're facing down an opposing Garchomp, uh, even if you're going to get outsped, what you can actually do is Terra type flying, become immune, and then go for the Nasty Plot. Then the next turn, your Make It Rain is guaranteed to one shot Garchomp. Uh, unless it like Terra type steel or something. Uh, and that is just an absurdly powerful move at plus two. So yeah, uh, Golden Go is like quite the adaptable Pokemon. Uh, but that's a little bit of a tangent. Going back to like tournament results, let's actually take a look at uh, the most recent tournament, the Welcome to Paldea tournament. While Golden Go didn't get first or even second place, we see a similar uh, thing going on here. Uh, we have a Golden Go in third place with Tandem Mouse and Hydreigon. Is that a Tailwind Hydreigon? We actually don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, moving forward, we actually see uh, very interesting, uh, very interesting, a Golden Go on a non-Tailwind team, uh, which it's actually with a Don Dozo, which uh, I can sort of see that working. Don Dozo doesn't particularly like facing things like uh, opposing Sylveons or um, even just like opposing like grass types in general, actually a little bit annoying for Don Dozo. So having Golden Go to remove things with like Make It Rain is generally not a bad idea, even if it isn't like a direct grass type counter. Uh, it is like immune to Amoongus Spore, so if you have like a Golden Go on the field, you can basically spam, uh, make it rain into those guys. But yeah, uh, yeah, I just want to like look at a few more results and then we'll move on to talking about like counters and why you can actually beat it with a few things that are a little bit unorthodox. Uh, but yeah, we see Golden Go next to Dragonite. Uh, that's another big thing. Golden Go, if it doesn't, uh, Terrastalize and it stays Ghost type is actually immune to Dragonite Extreme Speed. So like as a condition of the metagame, uh, while Dragonite's like still very strong, despite not having um, Chen Pao next to it to lower defenses, Golden Go is going to be completely immune to the Choice Band variants, which is quite good. Uh, and yeah, we just see like Golden Go all the way down. It's the most used Pokemon in the format, according to Picolytics usages. So yeah. Uh, so how do you beat Golden Go? Like, are we just going to sit here and complain about it? No, there, there are definitely ways to beat Golden Go. And funny enough, one of the most reliable ways of beating Golden Go is a Pokemon that a lot of people have written off as having... Well, fallen off of the metagame. Uh, Arcanine is actually fairly reliable for this. Uh, while Arcanine usually isn't that great as... Well, it's a great Pokemon, right? But it, like in the current metagame, it isn't as great as it usually is um, due to the heavily usage, uh, heavily like used Pokemon like Annihilate with Defiant or Clear Amulet Garchomp who are immune to Intimidate, making it so they can still one-shot you despite you, you know, trying to bulk to live a minus one uh, Earthquake. Uh, Arcanine is still a solid Golden Go counter. This is because Golden Go is going to be able to, for one, take a lot of damage from like Terra, Fly or Terra Fire Flare Blitz, but also it's one of the more reliable Snarl, uh, Snarl users and also one of the faster ones. So versus Golden Go, if there's no Tailwind on the field, you can outspeed it and Snarl it. And even if Golden Go goes for like Life Orb, uh, Terra, Steel, Make It Rain uh, after a Tailwind, 
Arcanine for the most part is like always going to live that and still get a Snarl off. Keep in mind, Snarl is extremely effective versus Golden Go because it's almost always going to be clicking Make It Rain, which will give it minus one. And then after the Snarl, you not only get a little bit of damage because it's super effective, but also lower its special attack stat. And at that point, it's at minus two. So things that would usually get two shot will be able to survive a bit longer. And that's like a solid way of dealing with it. Other ways of dealing with Golden Go are general fire types, which there aren't like like this generation has like a lot of decent fire types but it's very hard to like specialize a fire type to beat golden go uh armor rouge is actually like a decent golden go counter despite being weak to it uh as far as the ghost moves go because it is a psychic typing uh if you are under trick room which is a fairly common way of running uh, armor rouge you can smack golden go with an armor cannon it will almost always one shot them since it is base 120 uh, special fire move, which is super effective. Uh, Torkoal is quite good if you get Trick Room off. Uh, you can just spam Eruption and KO it. Uh, even if you don't actually get Trick Room off, Torkoal is bulky enough where you can eat and make it rain, even if it's not that great, coming off of 70 HP, 70 special defense. Uh, you don't want to eat like a Shadow Ball, but you can like invest to live that. It's not terribly hard. And then you can just smack it with like a Drought Boosted Heat Wave. Hydragon is actually one of the best fire types in the game. Funny enough, <laughs> Terra Fire. Uh, it's going to be able to not only switch in on Golden Go uh, and outspeed it, uh, but Terra Fire and then smack it with like uh, a Heat Wave, which is now stabbed, coming off of like a Life Orb base 125 special attack. Uh, it's going to be very, very powerful. Uh, also, just as like a Dark type, it can spam Dark Pulse. It's a Tailwind Pokemon, so in the face of Golden Go, if you like Terra Steel, which is another very popular variant, uh, you'll be able to have minimal weaknesses due to Levitate, meaning that you also like Wall of Garchomp. Uh, but like, yeah, like you, you beat Golden Go and Garchomp at the same time, which is quite cool. Uh, and you'd like Tailwind in the face of it and deal with it. But I think one of the most underrated ways of dealing with Golden Go is actually Skeledurge. While Skeledurge doesn't have the best special defense stat, it has an amazing HP stat. And it's also, uh, one of the best unaware Pokemon in the game. And my light just turned off. Thank you, backlight or front light or key light. So, uh, Skeledurge is... A very bulky Pokemon with access to unaware. So let's say that a Golden Go actually goes for a nasty plot uh, in your face and then goes for a Shadow Ball. Skeldurge actually has a decent chance of living that because you can invest to uh, take a Shadow Ball from like neutral because it ignores the plus two. Uh, you also don't have to invest heavily into special attack at all because of its signature move Torch Song, which will boost its special attack by one stage. Uh, it'll make it so Skeldurge is able to just snowball and snowball and snowball. It also has access to slack off, so after you deal with the Golden Go, you can try to take advantage of like a Trick Room or some redirection uh, to recover all that health back. Uh, and on top of all of that, it's also a very great Terra Pokemon. You can actually like go Terra Fire to ditch the Ghost type altogether and just beat Golden Go right out the box. Or you could even go Grass type to not only beat Golden Go, but also wall out Garchomp because you're going to hit Golden Go with a Stab Torch Song and resist uh, Garchomp's Earthquake. And like I said, it has Unaware. So even if Garchomp's at plus six, even if you manage to let a Garchomp Swords dance in front of you like three times in a row, you wall it out indefinitely. It's such an underrated Pokemon, and I really love using it on all of my teams. Uh, one, one thing I will mention is that Garchomp is actually a very reliable Golden Go counter, but you have to keep in mind that uh, Garchomp wants to run clear amulet like 99% of the time this gen. Uh, so if you're going to deal with Golden Go, make sure their Tailwind's gone because a plus one make it rain or like a Terra Steel choice specs make it rain will still KO a lot of Garchomps. Uh, and also if they are running the Terra Flying variant, uh, it's going to be really, really difficult to deal with that. So yeah, that's why Golden Go is super popular right now. And that is how you beat it. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I, I like know this is like not a, like a scripted video. It's like kind of rambly, uh, but I think I really like just doing these sorts of videos once in a while where I just talk about a Pokemon, its place in the metagame, how it's doing well, why it's doing well, and how you can deal with it. So let me know what Pokemon you want me to talk about next. These won't be every day, maybe like three times a week. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.